Good afternoon all. This is Fari Hemzi from Hemzi Analytics LLC. Uh, today is July 17th, 2009, which corresponds to option expiration for July. Uh, it was an excellent Friday. And uh, we have two videos for you. First one is with market timing. Second one will be on how to trade the futures on an option expiration. Go through three charts. Uh, one would be the modified a QM advanced decline chart, or better known as our SP1 Momo. Number of you on uh, my website or on Twitter are very familiar with it. Uh, and if you're in our chat room, you see it in real time quite often throughout the day. The next one is our, uh, we're going to talk about vol charts. These are volatility indices from uh, SIBO. And again, we're showing them within their uh, volatility bands, if you will, or uh, what I call the sigma channels, the, the standard deviations of a, a variable that is moving quite often and we're trying to measure the spread of the how the data falls. Okay, And then last but not least are coveted timer charts where we're looking at uh, 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 both the advanced decline and up and down volume uh, against uh, of the total market, if you will, against a big cap uh, index of that market. In this case, we're measuring NYC on the left and NASDAQ on the right. All right, first chart, SP1 Momo. Okay, what we're looking at is SPX rolling up into July, pulling back, testing is a moving average, a 200 day, which is the white line. And then, unknown to all, look, we had a lower low on the CIs, same as the price, but we ran up. Why? News items. Uh, Meredith Whitney and also um, uh, Intel. So between uh, Go uh, Meredith Whitney and uh, Goldman Sachs and Intel, we had a huge run up in a week. Now, what that gave us was a massive new high on um, advanced decline Q, which is shows that last time we were in these levels, were the last week of September of last year, right as we the the credit uh, crisis w was speeding up. Now, notice what we have plotted here. We have plotted the what we call the modified QM advanced decline. Yeah, because I run it through some filters, but I take that and we are plotting it ag uh, against its uh, sigma band or sigma channels which is again, uh, as in statistics, is a standard deviation from a normal value, if you will. Normal value here being the zero sig, which is the yellow line, okay? Now we're run up, we're about two and a half, two, about two uh, standard deviations of, above it. And uh, that has implications. If you look at the short term uh, uh, version of that same data, rather than the overall QM over the years, but rather, but rather than the short-term advanced minus decline value, you see that we were dropping on a relative basis. Uh, this is the Momo part. On a relative basis versus the uh, rising QM. And that created the short, the, the, the diversion, the bearish diversion here that we dropped through. Now, all of a sudden, within the week, we went from uh, oversold to overbought. And now we have hooked as of Friday. Uh, what does it entail? What, what does this entail, or what does this tell us? What to expect for next week? Well, my feeling is that uh, we will have a a period sitting here at the overbought. Even you may even get the S and P's up to about 940 range, but then or 945 range. But I think that's where uh, the fat lady stops singing. Uh, because we just have quite a bit of problems out there. Uh, and it's just a matter of things catching up. Now, how do we gauge that? What do we look for? Well, let's go to volatility indices and look where we are on volatility indices here, okay? Look at uh, how we are coming down from a, a spike high to plus three uh, standard deviation or plus three sigma down to minus one. Uh, the levels I would watch would be when it gets to about negative three sigma, just as it did uh, uh, back here. So uh, if you look for a 23 to 21 area, of course, remember, these are moving targets. So we need to look at them every day. 
but roughly what we're looking at right now, somewhere in, uh, uh, let's say, 22 to 19 area, because it's going to probably shift down as the uh, vol, uh, vol comes down. Again, also, I'm not looking at VIX. You probably saw it on Twitter. VIX is a very good way to trade volatility, not a good way to measure it. Don't get me fooled by CNBC and these other talking heads. The problem is that they don't understand the construct. Okay, uh, I run VX on our own systems. We measure it for our own setup. But I've also tried to uh, program VIX. VIX is very uh, random. It could be used and manipulated because it is a function of uh, not the immediate at the money calls and puts. Rather, it's which one has more volume. So if the market makers could transfer the volume or trade uh, at, uh, at one strike above, uh, that changes the co computation. So be, be aware of that. Last but not least, timer chart. We have, uh, uh, again, spiked up in McLaren Oscillator. We begin to hook there. Look, the volume is not as strong. We got, the, you know, remember price at the, I'm sorry, remember the McLaren Oscillator for advanced decline is a leading indicator. So it is going to peak before the price does. The critical part to watch for is the volume. Volume is a coincident indicator or confirming. So when the when the price gets to its max point, usually the volume is there too, and then that hook signals the top. Okay, that's key to watch. Uh, we've been trading here. This is up and down uh, volume ratio in reverse. So we've been trading a little bit below one. That's why we've been running so fast. And of course, that's going to change uh, once the rollover starts, and we'll get some spikes. The spikes are usually ahead of uh, the, um, the, 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 what do you call it? the spikes are usually where big trades days are, and as you get to very bottom, the, the level of the spikes drop down. All right, we are at two sigma levels here. You hardly see three sigma for the indices, just law of averages. But will not hurt to keep an eye on it. Look, we've got three days now at uh, plus two sigma on NDX. NDX has been really, really running up. This has been based on um, uh, Intel. Intel has been big in that area. Hope that's helpful to you. And uh, uh, we we'll look forward to having you again for another of our uh, videos.